Well, he can breathe, blink, bleed and cry and he plays a vital role in training future medicos. But he's not human, as Melody Horrell explains. Well, you may have heard of Superman, but now meet Sim Man. He can't leap tall buildings in a single bound, but he is playing a vital role in saving lives. This is only a simulation, but for students, it feels very real. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Sim Man nine, is the latest high-tech training tool for nurses and paramedics. He can show almost any medical symptoms, and students react accordingly. It simulates real-life experiences. It helps you in your clinical decision-making because you're interacting with the patient and you're really getting a feel for what's happening. You get that same adrenaline rush. You get the scared, you know, oh my god, what's going on? Um, and then you're allowed to react. Sim man's controlled remotely by a trainer. He chooses one of a multitude of medical conditions and adds tears or even a conversation. And how much pain are you in at the moment? Oh, it's bad. Okay. The idea is to put what's learnt in class into practice. When they're exposed to that situation again in a clinical environment, they've already had practice at responding. You can't kill him. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Following treatment, students are given feedback on their response. Sim Man's proven to be such a super training tool, he's likely to pop up in other universities across Australia. Melody Horrell, 7 News.